Hey guys, my name is Avigat and in this video I'll be writing a Java program to find the square root of any number without using the math function, so without using math.sqrt but while using for loops. So before I start with the program I'll just explain to you how we're going to do this program. So if you watched my previous video then the program for this will be quite easy because even in this program we'll be first calculating the factors of the number and after doing so we'll be checking if the square of the factor is equal to the initial number and if that's the case then we'll just have to print out the factor of the number and that will basically be the square root of the initial number so now let's move on to the program and this will become a lot easier to understand so here i've already written the basic format of every java program i started with import java.util.scanner uh, because i'll be taking input from the user then i've written class then public static void main followed by scanner s equals to new scanner now the first thing i'm going to do is create my integer variable so i'll say int uh, the first variable i will create is num because i'll be using this variable to gather input from the user then the second variable i'll create is sqrt which is short for square root and i'll give this an initial value of zero now i'll write my print statement to input uh, the user value so i'll say system dot out dot print ln here i'll say enter a number now to store this number in this num variable i'll say num is equal to sc dot next int next int is a method to gather input in the form of an integer now i'll write my for loop so i'll say for the first part of the for loop is to initialize the variable so i'll say int i is equal to so if you watched my previous video then this part would be a lot easier but if not um, first i'll always say int i is equal to 1 because all the factors of a number start with 1 then i'll say i less than or equal to num because i want this for loop to run until uh, the value of i reaches num because all the factors are always between 1 and num and the third part is to see if the value of i is increasing or decreasing here i'll just say i plus plus because it's going to increase every time now i'll write my curly braces and the first if condition i'll write is to check if the value of i is a factor of num so to do that i'll say if num mod i double equal to zero curly braces and within this i'll write an other if statement so after i uh, found out if the value of i is a factor then i'll have to see if that factor is the perfect square so to do that i'll say if i multiplied by i double equal to num so basically this will check if the square of i is equal to num and if that's the case then i'll say curly braces and within this i'll say square root is equal to i now our for loop is done i'll just print out this value of square root so i'll say system dot out dot print ln square root is plus sqrt so i'll just explain this part of the program with an example let's say um, the value of num is 9 then the perfect square of 9 is going to be 3 so that's going to be the answer but let's see how we get to that answer with this program so the first thing i'm going to do is find out the factors so this first if statement checks the factors of 9 so the first factor of 9 is obviously 1 as you can see here but when you take 1 to the second if statement 1 multiplied by 1 is not equal to 9 so this if condition doesn't satisfy then i'll run the for loop again so the second number over here is going to be 2 because 1 plus 1 over here is 2 which is um, not a factor of 9 so it won't even matter in these if conditions so i'll just skip that so i'll run the for loop again the third number is going to be 3 and uh, over here 3 is a factor of 9 in this if condition so i'll move on to the second if condition here 3 multiplied by 3 will give you 9 so the value of the square root will become 3 and that's going to be the answer and uh, that's basically how this for loop works okay so now this program is over let's compile this and let's check the output void main here enter a number first let me input a perfect square number so let's say 49 here it shows that the square root is 7 which is correct now let me input let's say 81 here it shows that the square root is 9 which is again correct um now let me input something that is um not a perfect square so let's say 8 here it doesn't show a square root value it shows that it's 0 so over here the square root of 8 is not 0 uh, so this part is wrong let's just correct this in the program so now after this for loop is over i'll just write an if condition to check if the value of square root is a zero so i'll say if square root 
double equal to zero then i'll just print out that there's no square root for the number so system dot out of print ln no square root and i'll put this statement within an else statement so else and uh, now the problem should be solved let me just compile this and let's check the output once more so first i'll just input a perfect square this time 144 here it shows that the square root is 12 which is correct and uh, now let me put something that's not a perfect square let's say 8 here it shows that it's not a square root so yeah that is all for this video if you want the code it will be available on my website avigatgupta.com so make sure you check it out other than that if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comment section down below and i'll try my best to answer them as soon as possible and if you learned something new please don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel and see you later bye